Hello, John Zimmerman from tabletclass.com and coming at you with a quick little video on adding fractions. And of course, I can't possibly teach you everything here about adding fractions, but hopefully um, a lot of you will find this as a nice little uh, kind of review. Of course, if you need more information on this, come check us out at tabletclass.com. Um, we really master in clear and understandable mathematics. But nevertheless, let's jump right into um, this topic of adding fractions. The whole idea is this, okay? When you're adding fractions together, we need to look at the denominators, okay? There's two cases. You got the easy case and the yeah, semi not semi uneasy case, if you will. And that's pretty poor grammar, but hopefully you got the message, okay? So let me ask you here. I got two fifths plus one fifths. Are the denominators the same, okay? Yes, they are. So if the denominators are the same, guess what? This is really easy. All we do to add two fractions that have the same denominators is we keep the denominator. In this case, it's going to be 5. And then all we're going to do is add up the numerators. Okay, And the numerators are the top numbers. The denominators are the bottom numbers in a fraction. Okay, So in this case, I'm going to add up 2 plus 1, which, of course, is going to be 3. There you go, 3 fifths. All right. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and have you try a real simple problem here. One seventh plus, let's say, three sevenths. Not to bore too many out there, but let me ask you, are the denominators the same? Yes, they are. Okay. And in that case, all we need to do is simply add the numerators. All right, so we're going to keep the same denominator, add up the numerators. Okay, one plus three, four sevenths. Now, you can get all kinds of different answers. Whenever you get the your um, the sum, okay, after you added these two fractions, um, a good idea before you just walk away from the problem is to make sure to see if this problem can be um, the fraction, resulting fraction, can be reduced. All right, that's really important because I know as a former math teacher, if you didn't reduce your problem, I would take off you know a little bit of points depending on what kind of mood I was in. So just um, be aware of that. Okay, so let's take a look at a situation where the denominators are not, are not, I repeat, the same. Okay, so I want to add two-thirds plus one-fifth. Guess what? Don't have the same denominators? Well, you have to go make them the same denominators. Okay, so we can't add them. We can only add fractions that where the denominators are the same. So in order to do this, you have to understand this concept about the LCD, the lowest common denominator. All right. Basically, the lowest common denominator, and I can go into a whole other video on this. Um, the lowest common denominator is the lowest number that both these two numbers, 3 and 5, can divide into evenly. Okay, In other words, with no remainder. So what's the lowest number that both 3 and 5 can divide into without a remainder? You guessed it. It is 15. Okay, So what I want to do here is take these fractions, and I'm going to rewrite them in a way that they have a denominator of 15. Okay, I'm not going to change the value of the fractions. I'm just going to rewrite them such that they have a denominator of 15. Being and in that case, they'll have the exact same denominator, and then I can add them up. So how do I do that? Let me show you here. Okay, so two thirds. All right, and now I want to go ahead and change that into a denominator with 15. So here's the little trick you do and uh, arithmetic okay, to um, make this change. So what do I need to multiply 3 by? Okay, What do I need to multiply 3 by to get 15? Right, so in other words, 3 times what will give me 15? Well, it's going to be 5, right? So 3 times 5 will give me 15. But if I multiply the denominator by 5, I also have to multiply the, okay, you guessed it, the numerator by 5. okay. So I'm going to take this entire fraction, 2 thirds, I'm going to multiply it by 5 over 5. And by the way, what is 5 over 5? Okay, that's just 1. Okay, 5, anything divided by anything is 1, right? So and when you're kind of looking at this, I'm taking 2 thirds and I'm dividing it by 5 over 5. I'm not breaking the problem. I'm not changing the value, right? I'm just taking 2 thirds and multiplying it by kind of like a fancy 1, if you will. Okay, but I'm rewriting it such that I get a new denominator, Okay, the one that I want. In this case, I want that denominator of a 15. Okay, 
All right, so 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 5 is 10. All right, so remember when you're multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators and the denominators, and there you go. Okay, so 2 thirds now is 10 fifteenths. And so now well, let's do the same thing with 1 fifth. Okay, so 1 fifth, I'm going to go ahead and change that so it has a denominator of 15. So what do I need to multiply this 5 by, okay, to get 15? All right, the obvious answer is 3. So therefore, we're going to multiply the numerator by 3. Okay, so 1 times 3. This whole thing is going to turn out to be 3 fifteenths. Okay, 3 fifteenths. All right, so these two now, this is my 2 thirds, and this is my 1 fifth, okay? But the good thing about these two fractions is that they have a denominator of 15. So now I can just rewrite this problem, my original one, as 10 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths. And then I'm going to go ahead and add up, okay, same denominators now. So I just simply need to add the numerators. Okay, 10 plus 3, 13 fifteenths. Okay, so there's a lot more um, variations or, you know, um, you know semi-unique situations that we can get into with complex fractions and everything else. I'm not going to get into that right now. I just want to just give you some basic, quick, bottom line um, things that you can do with adding fractions. So there's a ton more stuff in this topic, but listen, I want to remind you about our website, tabletclass.com. We have a 30-day free trial. We focus on clear and understandable math explanations, okay? And the thing here is that we connect with real-life students and we explain things in a way you will understand. So if you need more help in this topic or other middle or high school mathematics, come check us out. Okay, take care.